today I'm going to show you how you can easily maintain your car's air conditioning system to keep it blowing cool in the coming hot summer months. Now my Toyota may be 22 years old, but the AC, hey, it's still got freezing cold air. And that's because I maintain it. Things that you can easily do yourself, like this. Turn the AC on full blast, then go under the hood of the car and check the cooling fans on the radiator. This one's working, and that one's working too. You need a lot of airflow, so the air conditioning condenser gets cooled to get cold air inside the car. It'll work with just one of the fans working, but it won't work that well when it's hot and it'll strain the compressor and make it burn itself out faster. So make sure both fans are working if it's a two fan system. If it's a one fan system and the one fan doesn't work, then you'll really have problems. If they aren't working, fix them right away. Over time these fans will wear out and heck, they only have one, two, three, four bolts holding them on. They're very easy to replace if the motors burn out. Over the years I've had many customers have to have me replace their air conditioning compressors only to find out that the fans weren't working too and the non-working fans made the compressor blow up. So check the fans first. Now the next thing to do is to check for debris and I've been a bad boy. I haven't cleaned mine recently because it's been raining a lot here in Houston. But you want to get all the leaves and debris out of the intake. You don't want it sucked into the car where it can jam up the AC evaporator and cause inefficiency. And speaking of debris, look inside the front on the AC condenser. It looks like a radiator, it's the condenser. Bugs can get on there, especially if you drive in buggy areas, clog them up and then they won't work as good. I mainly drive in the city so mine's really clean, but if you drive in the country a lot at night, you'll see a lot of bugs. You need to hose them off with water and clean them off. Now the next thing to check for any kind of debris is the cabin air filter. My car's too old, it doesn't have one, but this Volvo does and here's how you check them. You go under the glove box and in this case you take the bottom splash pan off and inside is where the filter lies. It's inside here and as you can see this one's really dirty. Since these filters are hidden away most people don't think about them. So it's a good idea to do them in the beginning of the summer and check them every few months because leaves and debris can get in here and it'll make your AC not work as good. Now the next thing to check is the fan belt. Look at it, make sure it's tight and make sure it doesn't have a bunch of cracks in it and needs replacing. Because if the fan belt's cracked or if it's loose and slipping, the compressor will slip and it won't work as well. Plus it'll make it work harder and it can burn itself out that way. Now the last thing to check is the refrigerant. Now you can't really check it unless you have a set of AC gauges. Now realize that all AC compressors leak a little bit of refrigerant because they have a shaft that spins and there's a seal on the shaft. If the seal was perfectly good and didn't allow any leakage, it would run dry and burn out. So there's always a little AC oil that gets in there and it leaks a little bit out. So over time, you're going to lose refrigerant. Now if you have to add refrigerant once every three, four, five years, that's no big deal. If you have to add it every month or so, you got a leak that you're going to need to fix. But you can check it like this. You hook up the low pressure gauge to the low side and the high pressure gauge to the high side. And of course, if you don't have gauges or worried about using them, you can pay a mechanic to do this. Then you start the car and turn the AC on. And as you can see, the low side's about 30 pounds and the high side is about 150 pounds. Now it's early in the morning here, so that's normal for early in the morning pressures. The pressures actually depend on the temperature outside, the relative humidity, there's charts for that kind of stuff. But as long as you're between 30 and 40 pounds on the low side and 150 to 200 something on the high side, it should be perfectly full of refrigerant. So if you want to remain a cool kitty this summer, now you know what to do with your car's AC. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.